What's going on everyone? Austin John Plays here and today I'm going to be going over how you can get sparkling power recipes for free from a friend and some alternative recipes for you to get sparkling power in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. <laughs> I was messing around with getting more shiny Pokemon from Area Zero, including this Iron Jugulus that I just got this morning from my video that I put out yesterday, which I got after six minutes of hunting. It's honestly just like catching fish in a barrel. And while I was making these sandwiches, I went into two player co-op. That way one of my switches could make a recipe with me because my first game had more salty Herbamistica and a whole bunch of Herbamistica and ingredients. And then my current game, I was running low. So I'd make a union circle and then in the union circle, I would make the sandwich. And then on one of my switches, I would put it to sleep soon as that screen popped up that says all the buffs that I get because the buffs only begin once you leave that screen. So once that's done, I get the communication failed. Please try again. But then my meal powers are still active. So I got to play the half hour here. And then I was like, great, I get to play the half hour here. But there was a situation that I wasn't able to play. So then I just turned the game off and I turned it back on. And to my surprise, I wasn't where I just was. In fact, it's the last time I put down a save. And then I realized that when you go into Union Circle, make a picnic, and cook food that isn't one of the times that the game manually saves for online activities. So all my ingredients were returned to me. In this game, I have one sweet, two salty, two sour, two bitter, one spicy. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set up a union circle between my two games. For some reason, it decided to bring me to the passage over here. On one of my switches, I'm going to go down and I'm going to initiate picnic. On my second switch, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to join the picnic. The person who initiated the picnic is going to go ahead and make a sandwich. And then other people are going to join in on the sandwich making then the host is gonna say, let's get cooking. Now with these recipes that I have up here, but I mean, I just stretched it out a little bit so that it fills up this area and there's still even some, some room left on the side. That's the coating to make the pretty picture show up. I just am gonna go inside of here and make these recipes. Let's make electric, which is yellow bell pepper, salty and spicy. Both of my players are gonna go ahead and do yellow bell pepper and then one salty, one spicy. My second switch is gonna come here and get butter. Spices are gonna be added on. The butter is gonna be added on. Now, I just chose butter because it was something that I had a lot of. And I've done this like four or five times. And I have not seen adding butter to affect any of these recipes above me. It might for a couple of them. I'm gonna test a bunch of them out, but I'm pretty sure it's not. Also, when you cook with two players, you're gonna have a larger sandwich for you to throw your six pieces of peppers on. Now from here, the sandwich is being initiated, sparkling, title, and encounter. Now the person who hosted the picnic and provided all that nice Herba Mystica is just gonna turn their game off. From here, anyone who participated in the picnic, who provided that ingredient, that really, really necessary butter, is now still going to be having these buffs for sparkling power, encounter power, electric. And the person who provided all that Herba Mystica just restarted their switch and now they don't have those buffs, but everyone else who joined in the picnic has those buffs. So if you and another person, one other person, just one person on the internet has access to Herba Mystica and you two can communicate with each other, you can do these union circles. In an ideal scenario, you guys can host for each other. One person makes a sandwich, makes a recipe, hosts it for someone else, so on and so forth from there. You're gonna see no buffs, but again, I'm back where I was at the very beginning of this video. If I go to my ingredients, I still have the same one, two, 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 one of my Herba Mystica. And this guy, Got, this guy just mooched off. He got to redeem all these benefits. So I've now shown you a way that you can make two salt Herba Mystica last forever at the expense of one person providing the ingredient and butter or something else. I haven't even really gone through all that, but I have a feeling it's all gonna work. You know what? No, 
Now, I'm gonna test it all. I'm gonna test all 18 of my recipes with adding a butter on each of them just to make sure that they work with restarting in between. Cherry tomatoes, salt, salt, butter, sparkling, title, encounter, bug. Smoked fillet, sparkling, title, encounter. Avocado and butter on dragon. Yellow bell pepper butter on electric. Tomato and butter for fairy. Pickles and butter for fighting. Basil and butter for fire. Prosciutto and butter for flying. Red onion and butter for ghost. Lettuce and butter for grass. Ham and butter for ground. Cloth stick and butter for rice. Oh, I found one that doesn't work. All right, hang on a second here. Nope, cheese doesn't give it to me either. Is it bananas? Nope, still bug. All right, I got one for normal, but instead of butter, it's mayonnaise. So, so far that's the only difference. Apparently the butter was adding too much bug. Butter noodles for poison. I always think the sandwich is so funny looking. It's just ramen thrown on bread. Buttered onions for psychic. Buttered jalapenos for rock. Buttered burger for steel. And the very last one, buttered cucumbers for water. I'm glad I tested that because the normal one wasn't just the, uh, the butter being added on. And now we know that instead of that, you needed the mayonnaise. Cool, hopefully you watched up to this part of the video at least. Oh, did I need to test two of the ingredients? I just realized something, that I tested all of that, but I needed to test it with having two of the ingredient, because two people are putting things on, so... I'll be back. Just gonna pause recording and let you know my results. I have tested every single one and I'm down to water. I only have one cucumber. I can now confirm that all of these sandwiches work with double ingredients and butter, except for the normal, which is double chorizo and mayo with the original herbas that I told you guys about from the original TTIN posting. There's the water, perfect. That's the big news. That's, that's the big whammy of the video. There's something else I want to talk about, is that there has been significantly more testing done for different ingredients and different recipes to make different sandwiches. This information was found before the game even released. There have been new recipes that have been found that don't require Salt Herba Mystica. You now have an option. You can either be really, really good at making sandwiches with the recipes I'm talking about, or you could have one friend and make two Salty Herba Mystica last forever with very simple sandwiches. As early as 5 a.m. yesterday, I have received this image sent to me, and I don't know where it came from. I spent a lot of yesterday trying to find who first made this image. Cannot find it for the life of me. There you go. That's the bulk of it. And then the bottom just shows it to you. This is essentially you making a burger, because you need a hamburger, green pepper, onion, tomato, two servings of any of these ingredients, and any two Herba Mystica. So the advantage is this is going to give you sparkling title encounter, just like the salty recipes that I showed you guys before. But here's the thing. This is not an easy sandwich to make by yourself. If you're in a group, and you don't have too salty between you, yes, I could see this being handy, but let's go ahead and, and try to make that right now. Creative mode, I'm going to need tomatoes, onions, green peppers, hamburger. <laughs> Steel requires just more burgers, by the way. Like some of these would be easy, like ground and needs ham, but like, let's do dragon for avocado. Maybe I'll get myself a, 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 a Tinson, a to Tamagotchi. Two servings of avocado, that's the full six servings by the way, and then any two Herba Mystica. So we could go ahead and use our bitter that hasn't really been used for anything. I have so many ingredients I can use the L and R button to scroll through them. So first I want the flattest, which is going to be the tomatoes, then I guess let's go for the green peppers. The avocado, oh, it fell a little bit. I think it's okay though. These three onions, I'm just going to stack them over here on the left. Because I plan on plopping this burger down on the right. Okay, great. You don't need the top bun. Never need the top bun. It's an open face sandwich, still counts. And the pick goes through the entire burger. There you go! Look at that masterpiece. Now that's, that's a sandwich. So while this is a significantly larger sandwich that takes, you know, what, one more minute to make and a few extra bucks, it is a way that you are going to be utilizing your additional Herba Mysticas other than Salty. Tasty Austin John Original, Sparkling Title Encounter. 
Boom. No more salt needed. And since I don't actually want Dragon right now, I'm just gonna turn the game off and I'm gonna turn it back on. So we've gone over how to share recipes with friends. We've gone over the fact that when you're sharing a recipe with a friend, you don't have to ever actually forego your Herba Mystica. We went over the new burgers that you can use that don't require too salty Herba Mystica. Oh, Papa Hefe. If you guys are unfamiliar, Papa Hefe has done a significant amount of just manual labor research in regard to the way that shiny dens were created. If you recall, he was the person who first hosted the shiny G-Max Charizard for Pokemon Sword and Shield, did a significant amount of testing in regard to manipulating mass outbreaks in Pokemon Legends Arceus in regard to the order in which you battle them for different results that generated different steps of the procedures of how they were spawned in. And... Papa Hefe has done a significant amount of sandwiching. He talks about all of the specific ingredients and what their ratings are, which this is, which this was part of the original data mine in regard to all of the specific abilities, pluses and minuses of the different sandwiches. And he has come up with several alternatives. Actually, he specifically says to not follow the recipes in the video and go to the imager link. He's come up with several alternatives that require only one salty and one basic ingredient. And this has some basic ingredients ingredient differences, but a wider variety of different spices that you can use in addition to one salty. Then he went on to test additional recipes that are going to work. And then he went on to test additional recipes that require any two Herba Mystica. I figured I would mention this information to you that if you wanted to go and use these recipes as you may find them as better alternatives, you are more than welcome to. The URL for this imager link is going to be on screen right here. And then he actually also in the video mentions the whole you can just share a recipe with someone else, which I didn't realize that other people were finding this out. I kind of stumbled upon it. I've seen no one else talk about it. He even talks about that no one else is talking about it. So I'm glad we're talking about it. But as it stands right now, these recipes, while they are very simple and you can use any Herba Mystica, they work. They do not give you encounter. If you specifically want encounter, you can use these recipes that all require a salt Herba Mystica or image on screen of that picture that was going around 8 at 5 a.m. yesterday of those recipes that are all basically burgers that you could use any two Herba Mystica, or this, which is now my two player recipes. All of these require one person to have two salty Herba Mystica, or in some cases, one salty and one sweet, or spicy, or sour, or sweet. I just split them apart in, for the uh, situations that it's not two of them. One person having butter or mayo in one case, and then two of the main ingredient. You could just turn the game off, turn it back on, and preserve all of your Herba Mystica. If you are playing regularly with another person or in a community of people, these are phenomenal. You just kind of have to take turns, a little rough that way, but it's not that bad. This will help with everyone's reliance on Salt Herba Mystica because it is, it's getting a little out of control to the point that in my Discord, people were asking if they can trade them Herba Mystica. You can't, you you can't attach it to a Pokemon and trade it. How, wh why would you ask this without even seeing if it could be done? Here's now the two player recipes for you to have an infinite amount of sparkling recipes for you to give other people and for you to receive from other people. If you are playing by yourself, again, this chart of all of the various burgers works pretty darn well from the ones that I've tested. Papa Hefe sandwiches here that only require one salt Herba Mystica. The more complicated sandwiches that require any two Herba Mystica, not necessarily salt. And then the sharing recipes as well. Actually, it looks like this may work for four players. So there you go. There's the four player recipe. Shout out to Papa Hefe, even though he said that my recipes were trash. They're not trash, they they just relied heavily on, on one specific ingredient that does not drop regularly. Well, there we go. I hope this information was helpful. If it was, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button down below. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications. Until next time, Austin Chan out. Man, they see me shining like I got the charm. Stay strapped, got that jet ball in my palm. Felt from the sky, guess I'm the chosen one. And if you need to know how, check out Austin John. Champion flow, flow, yeah, I got that. Champion flow, flow.